Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're gonna talk about the intermittent fasting mistakes that actually make you gain weight. And I know this is happening to some of you, so this is why this video is so important. So if you are new to my channel, I wanna say welcome. I'm on a mission to get the whole world metabolically healthy. I'm super happy you're here. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get everything that I'm teaching here about metabolic health, hormones, fasting, Anything else I think is interesting or that you ask me, I put it here on my channel, so I'm excited that you're here. And But on this video, it's really, I wanna dive in to some of the mistakes that you may be making and you, and you don't even realize it. So there are five different mistakes that I see over and over and over again that trip people up with intermittent fasting and make it so that you end up gaining weight. So let's avoid those. Do so a long fast one day, your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Okay, here are the five mistakes that you cause you all to gain weight with intermittent fasting. Here we go. Ready? I feel like I need a drum roll. Like <laughs> Mistake one number one, not varying your fasts. Now, if you are new to my channel, that might be new, you might, that might be a new concept, but I know a lot of you have been here for a while and you're like, yeah, 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 I know that. Stay tuned, because I got four more that you might not know. So remember with fasting, we are trying to reproduce what our primal ancestors did. And what our primal ancestors did is they came out of the cave in the morning they looked around, they didn't have food, and they went and hunt, hunted for food. They went to go find food. And they used the fat burning energy system to be able to do that. So their blood sugar came down low enough that it switched them over into the fat burning system. They were making ketones that made them mentally clear, gave them energy, and they went to go find food. Now, sometimes they found very food very close. And so they made a kill and boom, it was handled. Other times they went days where they couldn't find food. So this is how we are genetically designed. It's, it's really important. In Fast Like a Girl, I actually put a really cool idea in the fasting chapter in there, and it's, it's called the Thrifty Gene Hypothesis. And the Thrifty Gene Hypothesis says that if one of the beliefs is the reason that certain humans didn't make it, they didn't live through the, those primal days, is because they were not genetically designed to go long periods without food. So they died. So if you think about it, all the humans that emerged out of that time have the gene that allows us to go without food. And that gene they believe is in all of us today. So if we're eating the same way all the time that, and not looking at that variation of what fast feast famine cycling needs to be varied, then we're gonna get stuck and we might actually gain weight. So you've got to vary your fast. And what that looks like is 13 hours one day, 17 hours the next, 24 one day, not fasting the, the next day. In Fast Like a Girl, I map out six different fasts, length fasts that is backed by science and that I've seen just watching millions of people fast that I've seen work really well. So make sure you get the book and you can, you can break that down and, and map out those six different length fasts. So the first one, we gotta vary our, fa our fasts, okay. The uh, second one, this one's interesting. It's actually not fasting long enough. I can't tell you how many people I've seen at conferences that I've been speaking at or out in public, and people will say, God, you know, I first came to fasting, I dropped weight, and then I started gaining weight. And there was those, these first two are the biggest mistakes that happens with that where they don't vary their fasts and they get kind of settle into 13 hours or like this is a really comfortable rate or 16-8 is a really popular fast. So they settle into 16 and they're like, oh, I got an eight hour window all the time. And so they never go into the 36, 48, 72 hour fast. I've had some beautiful discussions with Megan Ramos who worked in Jason Fung's clinic. They are big, big believers of the longer fasts and what they're trying to do in their clinic and with their teachings is really reverse diabetes and, and really help people drop weight. Megan and I have, have talked extensively about the power of fasting over 24 hours. So remember if you're gaining weight, you gotta vary it and it may be time for some 36, 48 hour fast. You gotta push that hormetic stressor a little bit more. So that's number two. Okay, number three. 
I know that we love to talk about fasting. I know that fasting helps you lose weight without changing your food. But if you're intermittent fasting and gaining weight, then I really recommend that you look at three food changes. And here they are. Make sure you're eating good oils, not bad oils. Make sure you're eating nature's carbs. So there's processed carbs or the breads, the cakes, the pastas. They're the things when you walk into the center of your aisle that man-made, those are man-made carbs. We gotta get rid of those and go to the nature's carbs, the sweet potatoes, the potatoes, the fruit, the vegetables. Go back to those as your prime carbohydrate source. And make sure you're eating clean, that you're doing clean proteins as well. And then the third ingredient change that I recommend is you've got to get rid of the toxins. And this one's deep, that toxins are at the root of a lot of hormonal problems. And remember that insulin's a hormone, cortisol's a hormone, these are two hormones that make you gain weight. So if you are going into some of the keto snacks, like I can tell you a lot of the keto breads and keto, the gimmicky keto snacks are packed with chemicals. If you're doing a lot of NutraSweet products, those are gonna make you, those are obesogens and they're gonna cause you to hold on to weight. Uh, BPA plastic, there's been a huge amount of, of media attention on the fact that BPA plastics get stored in fat. So we've got to lower our toxic load, we've got to switch to nature's carbs, and we've got to eat the, the good oils, not the bad oils. So that would be my third tip if you're gaining weight. Okay, fourth tip is that this one has got a lot to it, but you've got to open up your detox pathways. So you want to make sure you're having daily bowel movements. You want to be dry brushing under your, uh, on, on your skin so that there's an exit point. Look in the mirror and see, do you have a pit or a puff in your, in your, in your armpit? If it's puffy, that's toxins that's being a, a, a accumulated there. So get a loofah and start scrubbing your armpits and scrubbing over your liver and your abdomen to open those pathways up. So castor oil packs are amazing. We've talked about uh, Restore Hope oils. I love the Live Better and Pure Gen Regen. There's so many cool things that you can do to open those pathways up, and I've done a lot of videos on there on that. I'm sure my team will, will link some of those here for you. But detox pathways can be a major issue if you're gaining weight while intermittent fasting. And then the last one, this one will blow your mind is if you've been fasting a long time and you're like, yeah, yeah, I've been doing all those things that you just told me, I really want you to consider taking a week to two weeks of no fasting. It's almost like you gotta go step out and then step back in. What happens to the body sometimes if we've been doing OMAD, one meal a day, over and over and over and over again, is it becomes rigid. And so it doesn't think, it starts to go, hey, I, I get this game, I know this game, this game is you feed me once a day, and so I need to make sure that I hold on to fat as much as I can because I'm only gonna get uh, once a day, get a meal. And so sometimes we have to take two weeks, step out of fasting, and then go back to fasting, but now do it with variation. I have seen that work over and over and over again. I can't even tell you the number of people that I've coached one-on-one -on -one where we, do, we get stuck, we step out of fasting, we rearrange everything, and then we uh, come back in, and they're the same fasting habits that weren't, wasn't giving them the result now gives them the result. So really cool things, five of these steps. Those of you that have been warriors on my channel for a while, for starters, I just wanna say thank you. I love your comments, I love your support. Um, a thank you for coming back over and over again. And let me know in the, in the, in the comments how many years you've been watching my videos. Um, and to you warriors, I want you to put there so that the newbies coming to my channel right now know that which one of these works the best. Which one of those five? So which one? Number one is that you have to vary your fast. Number two is you have to fast longer. Number three is that you've got to vo avoid those three foods. Number four, you have to open up your detox pathways. And number fast five is you gotta stop fasting for a short period of time. So those five things, put in the comments which one was the needle mover on unsticking weight loss for you. Because if you're gaining weight with intermittent fasting, it's not an issue that your body doesn't like fasting. It's that there's some little piece of this equation that you didn't re realize, not your fault, 
Now you know the five things you need to do. So as always, I hope that helps. I can't wait to see your comments. And those of you that wanna really dive into personalizing your fasting lifestyle, come on over to my Reset Academy. We're teaching men and women over there how to really build a fasting lifestyle for themselves. You just need to put Reset Academy in the notes and my team will send you a link. So as always, from the bottom of my heart, I hope that helps. I hope you fall in love with living in your body. Never, ever, ever give up on yourself. You are truly a miracle.